Well, welcome back here. The parade for the third running of the top sport, Bloodline Million. Number one, Amber Man, and number two, Gala Parity, already gone down. Number three, Golden Voyager, the Mount of Glen Hatch, one of five runners from the Dean Hemming Stable. Here comes John Burks' fancy. Number four, I Love Russia, the Mount of Patrick Sasso. Two-year-old grey colt by Russian Fox. I Love Russia, winner of two of three starts today. The only unbeaten horse in the field, number five, Fulfillment, ridden by Billy Harvey. Number seven, Galilee, racing in the colours of Mr. Robin Rush. There goes number eight, Nakarata, Gavin from Sale, back in racing after a very troubled week. Number ten, Monsieur Jolly, from Natal, ridden by Brett Smith. Number 11, only a nickel ridden by Figueroa, the only Ferraris runner in the field. He's won the last four feature races here. Number 14, Talking Tall, Gavin Howe. One of many representatives from Harry Hotspur in the field. Number 15, number 13, Soviet Rising, ridden by Rambo Vermont. Number 16, Wild Cocktail, ridden by Russell Waterson, trained by Roy Magna. He saddled the first winner, Leopard Strike. Number 20, Silken Sand, trained by young Stuart Pettigrew, who at the time was Roy Magna's assistant trainer. Now, Stuart Pettigrew, trainer in his own right, has number 20, Silken Sand, a Harry Hotspur filly. Well, there they go on their way down to the start. In a few minutes' time, we'll know the results of the Bloodline Million. Let's take Speed and stamina required, and our commentator is Graham Hawkins. Thank you, Martin. Mysterious Hell just gone in. I love Russia. Most of the runners already installed. There's the favourite Dollar Parity with Reese Van Vake in the irons. He won on Fast Gun last year. Dollar Parity ready. I love Russia facing up to his stall. I love Russia, the last one. They're all inside, chasing a million. The 1992 Top Sport Bloodline Million for two year olds. 1,200 metres to race, and uh, away they go. Dollar Parity got away smartly with I Love Russia and Raji towards the inside. Amber Man is very quick down the left-hand side of your screen. Mysterious Hell is prominent in the centre of the track. Only a nickel behind them. Knocker up a home cooking prominent towards the outside. They followed by Soviet Rising. 800 metres to go. The leaders towards the inside. Amber Man, Rajiv, I Love Russia. Dollar Parity quick in the centre. Mysterious Hell is nicely poised to have a crack at the leaders. Then Knocker up a fulfilment. The Phillies only a length and a half off them. Silken Sands towards the inside. Wild Cocktail has got a couple of lengths to go. Only a nickel towards the outside turf dance on the extreme outside 300 meters to go now mysterious hell for david makins down the center of the track rajiv along the inside full filament is running on wild cocktail coming on strongly but mysterious hell the son of harry Oxford in front mysterious hell carrying the same colors as fast gun is going on strongly and mysterious hell is going on to win it easily talking call came out to be second Silken sands was third and wild Cocktail was in fourth position. What an outstanding triumph for, tra for owner David Macon. He owned Fast Gun last year's winner in partnership with Mr. De Jonger. And this year's winner, number nine, Mysterious Hell, he owns in partnership with Mr. S.G. MacDonald. And I must tell you that this is Mr. S.G. MacDonald's first horse that he has ever owned. What a fairy tale introduction to the world of thoroughbred horse racing for Mr. MacDonald, the co-owner of Mysterious Hell. This is the first horse he's ever owned, and Mysterious Hell has won the million. Here's the slow motion replay, and this is the point that Doug White said to Mysterious Hell, let's go, and he responded in great style, and Toby Spies, the trainer, turned this out, horse out in perfect shape after having run third in the SA Nursery. That run brought him on in leaps and bounds, and Mysterious Hell leaves his opposition trailing in his wake, Doug White taking no chances, punching him out all the way to the end of this 1,200 metre journey. And Mysterious Hell has won a half a million rand for his owners, Messrs. David Makins and S.G. MacDonald. Bred by the main chance farm for Mr. Graham Beck. Mysterious Hell by Harry Hopster out of Mystique. Second place, Talking Tall. 
who's a son of Harry Oxford, so Harry Oxford won two, and in fact, Harry Oxford won two, three. Silken Sands was third. Harry Oxford side the first, second, and third horse past the post in the 1992 Top Sport Bloodline Million. There in screen is the winner, number nine, Mysterious Hell. Doug, can you hear me? This is Graham Hawkins in the commentary box. How are you feeling right now? He's over the world. I can't believe it. You had Mysterious Hell quickly out the gate. He was always in the firing line. At which point did you reckon he had it all safely tucked up? Well, the only part I was worried about was the same thing that happened last time. That he had to be slow away. But from the jump, he was serving like a winner. And from the 600, I went dollar, dollar, past dollar parity. I knew it was all over because he just keeps finding. Doug, you've had an outstanding high felt feature season. This is your seventh feature win during the current season. Surely this must be one of the highlights of your career. De definitely. How is this horse working since the nursery? Well, you know, I've been out to the Vol a couple of times and I put him on the grass last week and I said to Mr. Special Network that he'd definitely be in the first three. He's come on a hell of a lot. And I think the nursery run did the world of good to him. You know, it was just a preparation run for this. So, you know, we were pretty confident. Doug, well done. Go and greet your connections. Thank you very much. Well, here's another view of that finish. Doug White, as you could hear, out of breath, very excited. You don't win a million rand race every week. This is Mysterious Hell from the ground camera in front and powering his way to victory in the 1992 Top Sport Bloodline Million. What a time for the South African bred by Harry Hotspur, the first, second and third horse past the post. And here we see Mysterious Hell, a convincing winner. There's the victory salute from Doug White. A dream come true for Toby Spitz. Who would have dreamt that he could have trained two of the first three Top Sport Bloodline Million winners? Talking Tall second, Silken Sands third, Wild Cocktail, a son of Bob Ross out of a royal prerogative mare in fourth position. And I want to tell you that Stuart Pettigrew, the young trainer, must be absolutely delighted with his charges run, Silken Sands. Up to very recently, he was assistant trainer to Roy Magna. And there's Mysterious Hell returning to the winner's enclosure. It's a young little guy. Well, Toby Spies is with me here in the winning box, and he is over the moon. Fast gun, and now Mysterious Hell. That nursery run told us a lot, really, didn't it? Yes, Martin. We didn't really aim for the nurseries because I knew if, uh, you know, if we killed the horse for the nurseries, we, we will not have a horse for today. And, I mean, today's race is much more important. Two years in a row, and million rand top for bloodline. Let me just about own, you own it. <laughs> I hope I can do it again next year, Martin. You must be very thrilled about Harry Hotspur and Mankind Farm. Yes, Martin. That last year we uh, last year we win with uh, Mexico's son. This year we win with his grandson. Incredible. <laughs> Thank right. you, Martin. Let's, let's lead him in. Cheers for Dougie White and deservedly so. And uh, David Macon here, the owner. Let's ask him to. to um, a two year old bay son of Harry Oxford out of the Jungle Cove Mare Mystique, ridden by Doug White, trained by Toby Spitz. Second, number 14, Talking Tall. Third, number 20, Silken Sands. Fourth, number 16, Wild Cocktail. I have the win and place dividends. Numbers 8 and 9 for a win. Four